Hi everyone, it's Barry here at the Lure Box, out here on the lovely Weirwood. It's the 29th of March, first day of the latest lockdown easing. Long may it continue. Um, we were just, I was just with Diggs the Piker here, looking at our flambu boxes. I just, um, I just got my little 3000 one that I, I just set up this weekend to use out here today. Pretty much, the great thing about these is you got the top, the top lid that opens it's got a sealed gasket all the way around so it's 100 percent waterproof and you open it up to these trays so you can see i've got a lot of green in here last time green was really the color so i went a bit mad with the green but yeah you know set up all my lures in the top pretty much what i really only need for a day and probably more but of course i've still got my box here you can see we've got all our boxes all over the place i've got some in here couple in there but of course you always bring out so much more than you need but the good thing is you can have everything you need and you can see it so when you think you want to change lures you know I used to dig around in this box all the time you just open it up and if you've organized it properly you should be able to find them and if not you know you can just open it up I've got some accessories some extra bits and pieces down there some you know some spare traces snap swivels just do these come with it these these come with it yeah and these are removable so you can sort of chop and change you can make the compartments bigger which i'll probably do because i couldn't fit all my tools in there so you see i've got a separate box separate box there with my tools in um you know i could put some of the smaller tools in but some of the bigger stuff you know you can then take that out for example and then bang you know you can just put put some bigger stuff in like that so but yeah what you know one of the features of these trays come out so i was saying like i've got the bigger one so Diggs has the four thousand down there and that's the same same design you know the top trays that's actually got a fixed unit in there um i actually cut i actually cut mine down to there so i can actually fit a five thousand size box in mine for more lures because you can never have something i think these nice. take they're designed don't they, to take those smaller yeah well they're designed to take the actual specific flamby boxes so if you put all your stuff in the smaller boxes then they will they will Sit take them there. across but um yeah it does have the two the two on the bottom here but i've taken mine out so the 3000 comes with two of these which are the oh, there's one in there. the three thousands both the waterproof and then the four thousand size comes with with two of the four thousand boxes digs has got one out obviously so those just slide underneath that's, that's, okay. <laughs> still open so yeah you want to make sure that the latches are closed and then you can just slide it in like that done they that's took fantastic. it nice and solid but yeah so it's got a handy little handle it's also got little straps straps here so you can you know for the kayakers you see i've got my uh, this is my homemade box i just have these little bungees on but you could you could fit bungees on so you can tether it down in the boat or the kayak good thing is if it does go overboard it'll float because it's 100 percent sealed these boxes are sealed so just have a look at the size comparison as well for a because yeah. that's so, me when i saw there you go yeah you can't really tell in the photos because they're oh. pretty much a scale model aren't they if you look at them you know it's hard to tell the size it's got a really solid lid i love them i love them um, but yeah they're uh, just a great great little bit of kit typical sort of solid construction of flambu and you know some adjustability you know big flambu phones aren't we i like these because when i got when i got in the salt water i've got the 4000 set up for bass so the on, again on the top the lures i'm going to use and what i do when i get home i literally just because of all the salt water on the lures i just take that tray out and i run it under the tap even on the dock you know a lot of the places will have a fresh water tap i just run it under there um you know sometimes i take the lures out if there's loads or you know just leave them in, leave it in the sun to dry out and then you can stick it back stick it back in so that's you know just a well thought out little bit of kit i think that it's hard to tell from photos but you know they are very handy as are all the rest of the boxes we've got this one also waterproof 
got a little clip there so in my kayak I just clip that on to actually clip it onto my seat strap so it just literally hangs there so I've always got my tools I'll have some traces you know scissors pliers various bits and pieces I've taken some out you know um, I normally have long nose pliers but they don't fit in there um, uh, I think the, the other thing you can't really get is the depth distance. I mean, that's the, what's that? The, the model is 501. It's 505. 505. This is the 501. So they're the, the same, yeah. same size when you look at them, but look at the depth difference. Yeah. What else is cool about these is they stack. They stack really well. So if you have them the right way around, they'll literally they're designed so that they can, you know, the, the little legs there fit nicely into the corners you can see this so you can actually stack them what i do with mine you can actually remove these handles i remove mine like that because although obviously without them clips it's not going to be maybe 100 percent watertight but to be honest they don't for me they don't have to be unless i'm submerging them so it just makes it a lot easier to get in and out without having to do all three and without those rattling around so that's the option you can take that one off too and then have two on the sides if you prefer but that's what I've done with most of mine they just clip, they just, they just clip, off, clip off on and off really easy and it just I don't know about you Dix but I don't like having to open all three well all, you know what all the time being a bit of a simple creature it's not something I'd even thought, you never thought of so there's it. another <laughs> lure box top tip yeah. coming to you right now yeah no um, I mean that's what I've done because I, I just on thought that one, that's yours yeah, you most of mine. Exactly that, most yeah. of mine. You'll see my little ones there. You see, I've taken the sides off of all of them. Oh, you can tell mine and yours apart, probably. Yeah. <laughs> that then you just have the one clip, and it's a more than substantial yeah. clip. You know, you can see it's really solid. Um, it may not seal that gasket, but to be honest, unless it goes overboard, and even if it does, it's going to take a while for that air to get in. Yeah. So they'll also float. But yeah, I guess that's a handy tip. That yeah, that's great. Awesome stuff. <laughs> and these are all Z Rust. Um, yeah. Well, they come with Z Rust. They've, they? got, they've got the Z Rust and the blue tabs. They've got the new ones that have come out, the extra Z Rust, which the whole box, I think it's the sort of grey ones, they, they're quite new. I'm not sure if they do them in the waterproof ones at the moment, but they do have. I don't know if. I don't think I've got any with me. Um, I've got some in here if you want to have a look at some. Let's make a bottom of this one. Oh well, no, that yeah, those are the tabs. So those are the tabs that have the Z rust. And what um, is that again, the Z rust? Well, it's just a it's just a sort of patented um, chemical that they add to the to the plastic, and it's scientifically proven. It's not one of these um, sort of cons. It is scientifically proven to reduce drastically reduce rust. So you know, it's not it's not to say things will never ever rust. Obviously, particularly if you're going out in the salt water, you should always wash your stuff. But the new boxes, as I say, the whole box is actually coated in the... What I tend to do with mine, as you can see, is I... Just leave them in there. The, just, yeah, they're not doing a purpose in there, rather than no, using just, their Z-Rust yeah. technology. Well, I think that's why they decided with the new boxes to make the whole box out of it. Because I do the same, particularly with my hard lures. I just take all the tabs and I leave them in there. And, um, but you don't really want the, all the tabs in there. You want to maximise your space for lures lures and more lures don't you Absolutely. really <laughs> no i do anyway anyway that's a really good insight that barry but i suppose we better get back now to fishing now we need to go catch the fish we yeah. pulled into this little bay because it's out of the wind although the wind seems to have died down a bit it does yeah it's Since really nice day out, it's a lovely lovely day we might go and catch some more fish we will um, do